Hello, my name is Yi Ling Ye. It's my pleasure today to present our work with Atlas, an image-based exploration and query system for large visualization collections via neural image embedding. First, some background. In recent years, many visualization image collections have been created for various tasks such as visualization reference, machine learning, design space study, data-driven visualization design, etc. These collections are very helpful for many different users. For example, visualization novices can learn different types of visualization by exploring these collections. ML for these researchers can use these data as training and evaluation resources. Designers can also get inspiration for new design by exploring existing ones in these collections. However, faced with many different collections available, they may also have questions such as which collections shall be used? And given an example image, is there any similar designs across different collections? And how to improve an insufficient collections for specific tasks? These questions all require further exploration. So the problem we focus on is how do we support more effective exploration of various visualization collections? To address the problem, we are faced with several challenges. In terms of the data, many different collections have divergent metadata. Some collections have rich metadata like author, category, or even the visualization code. But other collections may have little or none metadata at all. This makes it very difficult to generalize the traditional keyword attribute-based system for exploring different collections. Second, large quantities of visualization images also pose challenge for efficient visual exploration and browsing. In addition, in terms of the embedding, low-level image-based features extracted by either feature engineering or deep neural networks are hard to interpret. And the commonly used dimension reduction methods like TISME are data dependent, which means they generate totally different layout for different data sets, which makes it difficult to preserve a stable and interpretable layout across different collections. To address the challenges, we propose image embedding model for image-based exploration of visualization collections, which combines visualization image classification with CNN trained on synthetic and real-world data to produce interpretable image embeddings and then followed by the contextual projection of the image embeddings to produce a stable and interpretable layout across different collections. First, for the visualization image embedding model, we first collect real-world visualizations and synthesize synthetic visualizations of different types. Using these as training data, we construct a CNN-based visualization image classification models. This model uses the ResNet structures and also an additional triplet loss for contrastive learning to help it better distinguishes visualizations of different types. And the multi-dimensional image embedding vectors predicted by the image embedding models are visualized on the 2D planes using contextual projection methods. Particularly, for the contextual projection, we first use the RADVIS method, which is the string-based radial layout method, projecting each data point in relation to the dimensions representing different visualization types. However, because of the large scale of visualization collections, there can be severe overdrawing problems. To address this, we propose to combine the density plot with point sampling in this contextual layout. In this way, we can allow for both overview of the distribution and exploration of typical data points. Based on our method, we also develop a visualization interface for exploration of these collections, comprising three major views, the embedding overview, the embedding histogram, and the visualization gallery. First, the embedding overview displays the main results of our image embedding and contextual projection of a visualization collection. 
the embedding histogram displays the prediction scores of different types across the whole data set. Next, the visualization gallery displays similar visualization images to the current data point in focus or user uploaded images. Here's a basic demo of the system interaction. Choose a collection. Click data points to see image in selection panel and query similar images in gallery. Change query distance option. Click query results image to start a new query. Upload user's own image to query. Lasso filtering by data points. Histogram filtering by attributes. Zooming for more detail. Refresh embedding overview. Change sampling approaches. Change radio ordering of attributes. Additional interactions to arrange attribute order and filter by type. Next, we show the usefulness of our method and system with some case studies. The first one is comparing different visualization collections. We use the embedding overview to compare three different collections. The first is Beagle, mostly from web-based visualizations. The second is VisStudyK, which is mostly collected from research publications. And the third one is the synthetic collections used in AI for Vis models such as data to this. From the embedding overview, we can immediately see that the synthetic collection in data to this is much less diverse than the other two collections. By inspecting Beagle, we can also see that it is mostly focused on charts with simpler mark types like bar, line, and circle. In comparison, by inspecting the overview and exploring typical data points in this 30 k we can find that it contains more complex diagram visualization, such as scientific visualizations and flow charts, which often appears in publications. This is also because the this 30 k collections have collected many papers from the domain of scientific visualizations. Next, we show how the system can potentially be used to explore composite visualization. We can combine the embedding overview and the embedding histograms. By cross-filtering, first maybe we can select a particular range of embedding values in one type of embedding histograms. And then we can alternate to the embedding overview to narrow, further narrow down the region of interest. And then we switch back to the histograms of another type, selecting a range of medium values. In this way, we can narrow down on the subset of points with medium values on two dimensions, matrix and table. By exploring the remaining points, we can find some interesting composite visualizations. For example, in the first one, we can see the composition of heat map and table which allows us to see the data in both color encoding and accurate numeric number. The third case shows that our system can also be used to retrieve designs from different collections based on image embeddings. The system accepts example image and sketch as input, and we can find that there can be diverse styles of results returned for different chart types in different collections. For example, in the bottom row, we input a sketch of scatter plot. In the Beagle, we can see these results are simpler styles 
which we often see on the web. While in this 30K, we can see more complex multiple view charts, which is often used in publications to compare different data sets. We can also find that in the web-based Beagle, sometimes they would use a different color background, such as the black or blue backgrounds, which are rarely used in research papers. Finally, some conclusion. In terms of the data modeling, we show that image-based exploration can actually complement the keyword-based systems as it allows for comparison and design retrieval across different collections. And then in terms of visualization, we show that contextual projection combined with sampling and densely plot provides more interpretable and scalable visualization for collections of different sizes and different distributions. Then we also have some case findings. For example, we find that synthetic visualization models need to learn from more diverse real-world visualization data as their chaining data tend to be less diverse than the actual design in real world. Thank you for hearing this presentation, and you can contact me at my email and find out more about our HKUSD Civil group at the following website.